I'm going to make a smoothie. I've got the third strainer in there, the smoothie strainer, and I'm going to show you how you can use your cold pressed juicer to make a cold pressed smoothie. Let me grab the ingredients. Wow, look at these ingredients for this recipe. This one I'm calling banana berry because we've got bananas, we've got berries. I'm going to sneak in some sprouts here. I've got some alpha, alpha sprouts. I've got some coconut water and some lime there as well. What I love about using the cold pressed smoothie strainer is that when you want to make a juice from ingredients that don't have a lot of juice. So you don't juice a banana. You're not going to get any juice out of it. That's for making a smoothie. You chuck that in a blender. Blenders have the fast spinning metal blades. They suck oxygen in and you get an airy sort of foamy type smoothie. When you do it in your cold press juice, none of that is happening. You don't get any oxidation. But you get a a, uh, a nice creamy smoothie texture. Things like berries, you don't get a lot of juice out of avocados, sprouts, those type of ingredients. That's when you use your smoothie strainer. You swatch, switch it out from the juice one. And of course, you need to use a little bit of liquid. I'm using coconut water today. So let's have a go at this recipe, shall we? I'm gonna start by um, turning the machine on. When you do make a smoothie using your cold press juicer, pour a little bit of water in there first. Keep the cap closed. So I put about half the water in first. And then, with your banana, I'm just going to pop that straight in like that. Now there's no pulp coming out. That part's closed off in the smoothie strainer. So all I'm doing is pressing the ingredients through the strainer. I've got our alfalfa sprouts here. Look, I can just pop them in and let them go down. I've got some lime here. I want the, a little bit of lime juice. This is for flavor. So I'm just going to squeeze that over the top of the lid. Get a good squeeze there. And that's a little bit of lime juice going in for flavor. Now I'm going to start putting some berries in here. I'm using some frozen berries, but they've been thawed and defrosted. I want a little bit of cold, um, a little bit of cold coolness coming through in the recipe. But we don't want to use them frozen. That's for the sorbet maker. If we were making a berry sorbet, this one is for smoothie. Now let's put another banana in here. Now you can see on the juicer there starting to mix and squeeze and press all the ingredients. This is cold pressed smoothie making. Let's get the rest of this in. And as I've said many times before, take your time when you're squeezing and pressing using your cold press juicer. We don't want to overfeed it. Just because it's got a big mouth up the top, doesn't mean we just keep putting ingredients into it. It's a bit like the human body. Don't just keep putting food in because you've got a big open mouth. Take your time, be mindful, and enjoy the process. Now I've saved a little bit of water for the end because we want to use that water just to flush through those final ingredients. So let me release this now and you'll see, the, look at the thickness of that smoothie. There's no air bubbles. There's no oxidation happening. So let's close that. I'll put the last little bit of coconut water through. Now I would probably normally just let that run now for 30 seconds or so, really just get all the last little bit of the smoothie ingredient and then release it through. But we're just gonna speed it up a little bit, let it go to show you what we've got today. Okay, so have a look at this smoothie here. I'm just finding a glass to put that in. Here we are. Oh, I've got one here. All right. It's got a thick texture to it, like a smoothie. From the bananas and from the berries, 
Let's give it the taste test. Mmm. Mmm. The, uh, the alfalfa, alfalfa sprout gives it this little bit of herby flavour. Uh, what a great way to get some extra sprouts. Sprouts are such a healthy ingredient to put into a smoothie because of the nutrition and the benefits that you get from the sprouts. I really like this recipe, I hope you do too.